All right, kids, we're back, 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 back at it again. Girl, you had rolls all over the place in the back. It was disgusting. Back rolls. Hey, dumpster divers. So today we are unboxing a Barbie movie doll. Um, you guys saw the thumbnail. You know what's going on. We're doing that Mojo Dojo Casa House Ken doll in a faux fur coat and black fringe vest Barbie the movie Ken doll, $75. With the updated Ryan Gosling face sculpt. <laughs> <coughs> oh shit, I forgot. I pre-ordered the Ken Naf, Ken also. I forgot about that. So that one also has the updated Ryan Gosling face skull. But today we're unboxing a coat because I pre-ordered him on Amazon, forgot, and then he showed up anyway and charged my account money. <laughs> Commitment. Okay, why don't we read a little bit about him? So, this collectible Ken doll wows in a statement look inspired by Ken's rebel rocker outfit in Barbie the movie. He wears a dramatic faux fur coat over black fringe vest and joggers, styled just like film Ken. He makes a great gift for fans and collectors who dig this battle jacket style coolio so why don't we go ahead and start getting them unboxed and there it is the mattel brown shipper box is there anything more exciting student loan forgiveness Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> wrapped in tissue paper of course Oh, and he's one of those fat boxes, dude. Like, look at that. That's thick. I could probably sit on it, though. What the fuck? It is dressed up in the, like, scratched out the Barbie Ken style situation and conforms to safety requirements. But yeah, it just has, like, a bunch of, like, these cool lightning bolts Ken motifs. And then looking at the face sculpt, yeah, he looks really pretty. So I'm excited to get him unboxed and get the glare off my ring light. Okay, so here he is compared to a regular Barbie movie doll box from the same collection. As you can see, he takes up a ton more room because most of that $75 I'm pretty sure is going into the coat and probably like the fringe and stuff. So that's the Ken motif without the glare from my ring light bouncing off of it too much. And then you can see the Ken made out of lightning bolts insignia on the side, the lightning bolt motif in molded into the plastic. And then just a better look at that back part of the packaging. <laughs> Okay, this is ridiculous. Um, he was pretty easy to unbox. That coat is just ridiculous. I love it. Okay, so this is him like fully in his outfit, etc. blah, blah, blah. So the coat is lined. You can see it has a little Barbie tag. It's lined with horses. And then it's just like genuine plastic chinchilla fur. So love that. And then we have Ken on his stand with the modified waist clip so that you can put it around him with clothing on, but he's not wearing a lot of clothing around his waist. And of course, my totally taking care of Barbie certificate of authenticity. Okay, so up close, we have his hair done up with some product, the updated Ryan Gosling face sculpt, right? That looks, is that more like Ryan Gosling? I think so, it's the updated one, I think. The lightning, on the headband, the fringe coming off the vinyl, his bedazzled Ken fanny pack, and then the lightning going down the pants leading into his big old white sneakers, and then little black hand gloves. Oh yes, and then of course his horse medallion necklace with the horseshoe and the horse head. And then of course there is the Ken doll body fully nude. So he is articulated in the head, shoulders, elbows, the wrists, legs, knees, and knots in the ankles but he is just like the standard Ken Playline doll body too. He's not the buff one or anything. And then here is the fanny pack up close. It's just got some notched belt loops in the back. It's just a solid chunk of plastic with some painted on details. The pants up close are just like a nice stretchy jogger material. There's um, an elastic band on the top and no Velcro. The shoes a little bit closer. None of the details are painted, but they are molded in. And then at the bottom, there is no tread. It doesn't say Ken or, oh no, there's some tread. It doesn't say Ken or anything. 
And yeah, just like a nice little basic white sneaker. And then this piece I'm actually really into. It is vinyl, so eventually it'll start cracking and flaking and everything, and it is black, so there is a chance that there could be some dye transfer onto the vinyl skin of Ken. But it's a good piece, and I'm really into it. Okay, guys, so that's just kind of it, you know? Usually when you're unboxing a Mattel doll, there's not a ton to go over. Um, I like the jacket. I think he's absolutely ridiculous. Like, they really did put a lot into this and for the less than a hundred dollar price point from Mattel that's a rarity nowadays so I think based off of current Mattel trends pricing what they'll put into their price points etc I think for this only being $25 more than a regular Barbie movie Barbie doll I think he's fine he is articulated, he did get an updated face sculpt, he does have a lot of clothing, accessories, etc. And yeah, I, I like him and I like the updated waist clip on the male doll stands now because look at how good he's standing on there. Oops. <laughs> Ignore that. There we go. But yeah, I think he'll be a great dust collector and I'm I'm glad I got him. I'm not upset or anything. But you guys let me know what you think. Is he worth the $75 price point? Did you get them? Were you able to get them? You know, stuff like that. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next episode where Ryan Gosling, more like I am gobbling these nuts. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you look like a fucking Yeti. Onto the shelf you go. That coat is going to grab so much dust. Although I could use it like a Swiffer.